So I'm guessing we're gonna put the squads together now. Which probably means even more zombies. Rendezvous point directly ahead. Let's try and play nice today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. Oh my god. I think there's the first chosen. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again. Who the hell are you? What the hell is that? Vox Prima, Elder Assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind. Butcher of free elephant. My people face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Oh, God. Your Reapers face a being such as... Oh, the Knuckles? warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> Such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout the universe. I am not one of their instruments. The Assassin. Um... Should probably move the Sniper up as quickly as possible to have a nice Overwatch shot over here. Molto bene. And then the rest of us of our uh, normal squad is going to move further as well. I'm going to keep Mox and Elena in cover right there. They have a pretty good position where they are, but everybody else needs to move up. Um, I could actually... Wait. I could actually heal up... Let's heal up... Uh, although, I do get a stabilize out of this as well. If anybody goes down, I'm going to use it for a stabilize instead of a, a heal there. So let's overwatch all around. Sound coming from over there. There she is. Consider yourselves lucky. Conrain, Naylor, Nightblade, Blast Shield, immune to explosions, Shadow Step, this chosen does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. And she's immune to, immune to explosions. What the hell does that mean? She doesn't take damage from explosions? The Nightblade. Takes additional damage from 3 plus attacks in a single turn. And takes increased damage from Reapers. Okay. At the very least, you will die with honor. Oh, gold. Oh, no, and the Lost is still here as well. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. So we don't know where she is, basically. I don't have Shadow for some reason. Because I probably already used both of those. She's immune to explode, so even the Claymore won't help us there. But right now, we still have the upper ground. And I know she can fire with her rifle, so let's move her over here. I am at your service. Aha, there she is. And that's a flank shot. She might be immune to explosions, but is she immune to her cover being blown? I should probably um, use the flashbang on her. Yeah, let's use the flashbang. I hope that doesn't count as an explosive, because I'm just going to disorient her. That's going to be a good start, right? Flashbang in the face. Immune. Oh, for f okay, that's great. That's great. I lack nuance. If you say so, but I think... Yeah, Mox still has his grenade, so if I... How far can he throw that? Not far enough. 
But I can move over here. Wait, can he toss that across the street? He should be able to. Although I'm probably safer if I grab... Why can't I grapple? No targets available. Okay. And I'm going to have to move over here and hope that I can hit the other side of the building there. Otherwise, it's just going to be a normal shot. I don't know what these guys can do. So, frag. No. 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 Like, could I actually grapple over here? But does that help me? Is a thing that actually spends a charge, no? No, so I should just try and focus fire on it. So I moved them closer, but nothing else I really can do. So let's put... Um, 8 protocol on Alessia. Where is she? There she is. So 8 protocol on Alessia. So that gives her 20 extra defense. And should be a great way of doing that. Now, what happens if I shoot her? 94% chance with Elena. Up to 6 damage. Ooh. 9 critical because of course she's a reaper. Does she do anything? No. Okay. So, then another sniper shot. It's 50-50 though. So, here we go. 50-50. Come on, Alessia. Come on, Alessia. Ah, she misses. Yeah, indeed, it could. So, Mox. Ooh, that's only a 33% chance. That's not a lot, is it? But let's try it anyway. Fire with the bullpup rifle. Oh, that actually hit her. And she's bewildered now, but of course, it's her turn. Okay. The sonic dispersal waves emitting from that pod are crisscrossing a massive area. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to deal with that as well. Meaning that thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. Right. An accurate assessment. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand's en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. Um, is the Chosen still here? Because I don't think she... She's probably gone. Oh, wow, that didn't even... Oh, it's not... Oh, crap. This is going to be a problem, but Overwatch it is. I only have one more move left. Howls echo nearby. A lost swarm is very close. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can they get up here? Oh, they definitely can. Stop. Please stop. So that's one Overwatch shot, at least. How did you miss that? Tatiana, I'm disappointed. Oh, God. Double one damage. Initial analysis of these creatures' movement patterns reveals an almost coordinated attack strategy. Perhaps they're not the mindless automatons they initially appeared to be. An intriguing, if not horrific, possibility. Okay, so. Alessia, you're up. Pistol overwatch. Well, not overwatch time. Pistol shooting time. Gunslinging time. There we go. One. Two. Blammo. Three. And now we can move up to Tatiana, which ha who has 83%. There we go. And then she got a promotion. And then the other lost Dasher in the face. So focus that on that singular unit as much as possible. Then moving her up over here. I don't think there was anything else, right? So we can reload. Okay, then we have Sarah. Sarah can heal up uh, Elena, which is definitely what I'm going to do next. There we go. And heal up Elena. There we go.
Now we must move up as fast as possible, so let's put Mox with his grappling hook where we wanted him to go later on, so that was up here. Grapple up there. I don't actually know what the green bar underneath everybody's uh, health bar is. Oh, and the grapple doesn't actually spend uh, an action, which is also nice. I could move up further through the building and provide overwatch from here. There we go. Alien activity. I'm pretty sure she's still going to be here. The Lost Swarm appears. How much is that going to be? One, two, three, four, five. Seems to be only five. How many of these creatures can still be in this city? Advent has been sending purifier squads into these cities for years. Yet somehow the Lost survive, even thrive. We do not know why. So Tatiana moves up further down, a bit more to the left, so we can see if there's anything over there. Um, Mox, I'm going to keep him up there, and then Sarah moves down as well. Because I want to avoid, because that Chosen must be still here somewhere, probably hidden in the shadows. So I'm guessing, yeah, Elena now has a shot. Which means that if I put uh, Alessia down here as well, she can start pistol whipping every single one of them again. There's one with 4 health. So that one is 75 and 2 health. So pistol over there. And that completely whiffed. Okay. Um, Tatiana actually has a shot as well. Might as well try. Here we go. 65. That's a hit. No longer a threat. And another one. Come on, double 65. Oh yeah. Okay. So that gives us a bit of uh, leeway. Go on Overwatch. That Mox could probably go down. I'm gonna have to be careful with cover though. And if I trigger something else, no. I don't want to trigger anything else. Uh, Sarah can also go into Overwatch and Jacqueline as well. Overwatch. Hmm, Elena can fire twice. Let's do this. That's one. That's the four health one. Your friends will join you soon. And then the two health one. I have almost no ammo. Uh, oh, she misses, so I can't reload her. I take responsibility. Yeah, you should. That was. Oh, there's more where that came from. We do get a few Overwatch shots, so hopefully. I think that's a hit, yeah. Well done, Jacqueline. Well done, Jacqueline. And then the last one, I think I have a few more Overwatch shots left. If she gets closer. Okay, so that thing, I can't probably destroy it. But let's move up further. Reload. Outrider. Maybe even shoot. Do I have a good shot? No, I don't. Um, I don't even have a good shot with Elena, uh, Alessia here. Then. Pistol shot on the lost. Might as well try. And I miss. Of course. 73% chance and I miss. I'm gonna have to move up Tatiana as well. Tatiana can go next to... Well, I want to take out the zombies first. So Mox, go over here. Sarah can go behind the car as well. Just to keep them in cover a bit. And then I can fire at that lost. 68. Ah, uh, we can count on Sarah. Sarah is the best, so let's put it on Overwatch. Uh, and then Jacqueline on Overwatch as well. Outrider can't see anything. So I'm just gonna push um, Tatiana further. Yeah, I'm gonna put her behind the car here as well. And another swarm appears. They're all coming from the same side. We get a few Overwatch shots. That's a kill. I just don't think they go over 4 health. That's at least 5 more, but we do get another overwatch shot from Jacqueline. 
think that was a hit, yeah. I saw a bit of yellow blood in the foreground for some reason, but four left. There will come a day when my people take back this place for our own. If they are all like you, that is a likely possibility. So we need to go through that building, I think, if we want to reach that... Yeah, the extraction point properly here. Um, so... Outrider, move in the building. Move inside the building. Volk says I am to obey. And then if you see anything from over there, I don't know, does she? She doesn't. That means that Alessia can move in as well. Roger. There we go, moved everybody further up and added a few uh, overwatch shots. And we get another, so we're gonna get an extra swarm every two turns. And they're entering the building. And that's a miss, that's a costly miss, a double costly miss. Are there dashes in between that? Okay, I think they just stopped. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are on to our strategy. It is the Elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere lost for that to happen. So let's start pistol headshotting again. Oh, no. No, no. Okay, so really focus on killing now. Um... How good are your shots, Mox? Okay, let's kill the closest one. There we go. Then the 91 one. And then probably kill the last one with Sarah's... You know what? Can I put her a bit closer? Yeah. Over here, Sarah, and then kill that final zombie of this group. There we go. And I can even use that final one to just reload. We need all the ammo we can get. So reload that gun. Then move Jacqueline in a lot further. So we start making up some ground. Unless there are more, of course. Then we're going to have issues. Issues. Lots of issues. That's not good. How did they see her? There's no window there. Okay, but we can set this up. We can set this up. If I put Elena over here, she doesn't have a shot, but we still have the Claymore. So let's put that, I think, over here. So once they run over that, they probably trigger that. So once they start moving, they're going to trigger all of that. I can actually... How the hell do you have a shot on that? I don't care. Just go further a bit. And then shoot him again. Oh, of course, now you don't. Now you don't have a shot. Mox needs to reload. And that's basically it. Mox and Tatiana are the only ones left. So, double overwatch then. It is under my watch. So the explosive is hopefully going to go off on its own, that I understand it correctly. It is a claymore. It should. And I'm hope hoping that I'm going to get... Oh my god. Well, that's one kill. Is that going to go off? Please go off. Why doesn't that go off? Oh gold, the frame rate. And oh gold, everybody's health. Firebrand's in position, but the evac zone's even hotter than we thought. Running out of time here, people. Well, uh, hold as long as you can. We will be there. Um. Nah, you know what? Do you still have a shot on that claymore? We still have a grenade, right? Yeah, Alessia has the grenade. Ah, Mox has a grenade as well. So. If we fire, how far can you throw that? I think he can... He can't reach the... Okay, I'm gonna risk it. So let's put Mox over here. I can probably set that off, right? The Claymore. I think it's... Where is it? I think it's in the wall somewhere over there. 
Probably... is that it? You know what, this won't hurt. And it opens up the area a lot more. I don't know if that's gonna trigger the claymore as well. I don't think it did. Howl's nearby, Swarm is very close, the frame rate is also dying. Um, but, first up, Alessia, move up closer. The frame rate is dying, so I, I do I do apologize for that. But uh Pistol! One, two, three, four, Animus. Okay, couldn't last forever, could it? Um Tatiana, you have one more shot. You should probably go a bit closer. Yeah, go a bit closer. Maybe even a lot closer. Over here, right next to the fire for some reason. Shouldn't have done that. And fire at him. There we go, killing that. And then reload. Sarah, go in. And start murdering some more zombies. So there's at least one more over here. 84%. I think that might be their fatigue. That green bar. We're almost there. So let's move everybody as close as we can. Damn, this is a long mission. Swarm appears. Okay, it seems like they're on the other side of the building. The sheer magnitude of the biomass converging upon this position is staggering. If our team does not evacuate now, trust me, Doctor, they know. So, moving everybody up, because indeed, we do know, um, as far as possible, I think this one, Tatiana could go in there already. That's not going to help anybody, is it? Mox. Mox, Mox, Mox. Mox will probably not be able to do anything else, so. He needs to go out. Then. Sarah has a shot on only one of them. But, we do have... Ooh, you know what? Go into the evacuation zone. Pretty close to where we need to be. And then start firing at whatever you can hit. You have three shots. If you can hit all of them, that would be nice. That's one at least. Dash her down. Second one. Come on, 78%. Here we go. There we go. That's nice. I can see one in the back there, although she can only see one anymore. 72. Ah, there we go. And now we can reload even. So that's going to be nice. There we go. Jacqueline murdered a whole squad of them. Now. Outrider, move forward uh, into the corner of this thing. Maybe you can see that last one. She can, and she will, kill his ass. There we go. Just enough damage to kill him off. And then reload. A Lost Swarm is very close. And they're getting closer still. But that is a kill. That is a kill. I see Don Sarah. Okay, so that seems to be enough. I think we're done. If we can move our final three soldiers in there. It should be done. Extraction four, okay. extraction five, and extraction six. There we go. The entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit?
Well, I'm guessing I don't need to worry about uh, using a, a male soldier then. Look at that, everybody's so alive. Our with these outlying resistance factions presents an intriguing opportunity to study the varying means of survival they each employed all these years. Okay, so we have a lot of things going on. So Elena is now part of our team as well. And she has been wounded, of course, but she can be promoted. Um, so let's check that out. We may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. There the we go. resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. They will adapt to follow your choices, Commander. So what is this? So it's a horizontal skill tree. And we have XCOM ability points and soldier ability points. And these ones cost 10 each. Remote start. Detonate an environmental explosive, causing it to deal double damage within twice its normal radius. Does not reveal the Reaper. Aha, uh -huh. that makes the claim more useful. Blood Trail Shots deal plus one damage if the target has been wounded this turn. Not that good. And Shredder, your vector rifle attacks Shred Armor. Shredder is permanent, of course. So I think we might be able to just go for Shredder first and then Remote Start. Although Remote Start, that's 10 damage in a double radius. Let's try that first. Remote Start, here we go. For 10 ability points. There we go. Okay. Tatiana has been promoted to a ranger, so she gets the slash, but she's wounded for eight days. Then we have our sharpshooter, so Alessia has definitely earned that promotion. I don't know, how many kills did she get? 19 kills in total by now. Okay, long watch. Allow overwatch to trigger with squad side or return fire when targeted by enemy fire. Automatically fire back with your pistol once per turn. That doesn't seem to be that useful. So let's go with long watch. And then there's a bond available as well. Don't know what that is going to be. Very high. Oh, so Sarah can bond with... Wait, with Alessia? So develop bond, level 1. Teamwork, grant an additional action point to a bond mate. Has a single charge shared between bond mates. Okay. Let's confirm the bond. Create a poster. No, we don't need that just yet. So now Sarah and Alessia are bonded, which is... Great, I'm supposing that's gonna upgrade as well. Then the promotion itself. Can we get to the can we get to the promotion, please? Thank you. Okay. So medical protocol or combat protocol. So medical protocol, the gremlin can perform healing actions remotely. Gremlin heal and gremlin stabilize. The gremlin has a single charge, but if a medkit is equipped, the gremlin will gain an additional charge. Or combat protocol dealing guaranteed damage which is increased against robotic enemies. I think medical is gonna become more important in the first round right although the the guaranteed damage is also nice yeah let's do combat protocol although no i need a healer i definitely need a healer sarah is going to be our healer medical protocol it is there we go and then last but not least jacqueline also earned herself her first promotion blast padding your gear includes layers of extra padding and blast plates granting a bonus point of armor and 66 percent less damage from explosive attacks or Shredder. I don't come across armor just yet. And it's only on the cannon attacks. So I think the more the, the bigger defense is going to help us more. So let's do Blast Padding first. So 6 health and 1 armor for Jacqueline. I want to keep my soldiers safe. There we go. That was a lot to go through. But we recover nothing. That is sad. But we do get a 78 intel and the scientist. So the scientist is going to boost our research. To deceive me, you have to try harder. Our newest captive is the price of your failure. So Mox has been captured. Too. During the execution of this mission, our operative Pretel Mox was captured by Conrai Naylor. We may be able to determine where they are being held through a future covert action. We've had our suspicions, but before now we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit, I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. We should talk to our friends with the Resistance. If we deploy on a covert action, they can help us find out where our captured soldier is being held. 
Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Okay, that's everybody done. Let's see, there's an L3 button here. Resistance, no covert action, select this mold. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the Resistance factions to complete these covert actions. They'll be gone for a few days, but this will help us build influence with the Resistance while generating material support. Okay. The factions can offer us opportunities to advance the resistance around the globe. We'll need to send away some of our troops for a number of days, but we're guaranteed to reap the benefits of our effort when they return. Behind enemy lines. These chosen the elders have sent after us are nothing if not persistence. From what I've heard, you're the new prized bounty, and they're doing everything they can to find that ship of yours. The assassin has been especially irritating lately, so I say we pull our resources and find out where that thing calls home. Don't expect they'll take this sitting down. I hope your people are ready for a fight. We require a soldier sergeant plus, but we don't get that. But we do need to add one soldier. Um, there we go. Who's a fa- ooh. So there are people actually tired as well. And most of our other troops are actually wounded. Okay, so that's probably a way of... Avoiding us using every single, well, the same units constantly. Maybe Christina? But then I send out my only rookie off on the mission. Let's do that. Let's just send Christina out and confirm. Oh no, I, we need to send two soldiers, so I can't really do that just yet. Okay, so that means we can go into the bridge now. Okay, and we get another cutscene. Flavor. To the others, you 
And there we go. You are the chosen. Seems like they don't get along too much. But that gets us. What is that? Commander, we've just made contact with a new faction of the Resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. So this is the Commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. Trust me, that does not happen often. You are all welcome here. I will admit I had some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Volk, out. Okay, so Resistance Faction located, the Grim Stalkers, new faction orders granted, Guardian Angels infiltrate and rescue soldier Praetal Mox, recover loot and gain ability points. Tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skills. Okay, so the Resistance has informed us that one of the Chosen has reclaimed control of nearby regions. If we go on missions in this area, there is a good chance they will try to defend their territory. Okay, so we gain intel at Reaper HQ. Um, but we didn't we have another thing that we were scanning? Yeah, the supplies over here at the stadium. Um, I should probably check in with the resistance stuff. Word is we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. Commander, Mox has been captured. We should do everything we can to get him back before the Chosen do God knows what to him. This operation is going to require some field experience, Commander. We'll need to send one of our vets to lead the effort. Okay. So that's probably talking about the other thing. We could rescue Praetal Mox. 14 ability points. Alien loot. Um. So let's see. We need to add two soldiers. But most of our soldiers are unavailable at the moment. So I think... I'm going to have to... Purchase another soul. I'm I'm not able to. According to my own rules, I'm not able to do this now. Um, I could check out the uh, armory really quickly. Oh, I can dismiss soldiers now. Okay, so this is gonna make this a bit easier for me to keep an eye on everything. So dismiss all the dudes. Okay, so this doesn't look good now, does it? This does not look good. Um. I think I should go for the rookies when I'm gonna go scan. Uh, I am gonna recruit two more people. So, uh, luckily, most of these are actually women. So, Kelly. Kelly Brown? Yeah, let's go for Kelly over here and Emily over here. So, that's most of our supplies done this month. Um, yeah. And then we might be able to. Let's check this out. Covert action. Rescue Praetal Mox. And then add him. So let's send both Kelly and Emily to go over there. Oh god. Here we go. Confirm action. And begin the covert action. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Okay. So that's that done. Now we need to go back to the bridge. I'm gonna have to go scan for those rookies. Yeah. So let's go... Over here, eight days for the abandoned colony and the rookies. Or do I do the supplies first? So I think rookies won't hurt. I definitely need the rookies. So let's just start scanning over there. Heidi is back. This will prove to be an important and resistance step. communications are completed. So let's assign new research. Commander, if we intend on discovering the purpose of the chip we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Okay, so we get the new facility resistance comms, we get new research available, the resistance radio, and new resistance contacts available. So we're going to have to do that later on. Interchangeable upgrades. We have made an astounding breakthrough. You must begin researching interchangeable upgrades immediately, otherwise the opportunity will be lost. I am not going to care about that because we don't even have modular weapons yet, and that's only two days at this point. So let's go with modular weapons now. There we go. Okay, so now you can now make contact with both west africa and south africa 
I'm pretty close to both of those. And of course we want to make contact with West Africa as soon as possible. Because we get the black side already then. Because that's actually really good. Um, but we only have two available contacts left. So let's just continue scanning for the rookies first. If we're lucky we get the alien debris. And Lisbeth is also back. So that's, that's the alien debris cleared. And now we have an engineer available for us to use. Oh, we, we're three supplies short. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to add the engineer to clearing this. There we go. So Zoe King is added to that as well. And now that only takes five more days. And then we continue scanning. Another important we get modular weapons. In our research. Let's assign more research, so now we can research magnetic weapons, and the weapon upgrades are now available as well. Resistance radio can wait, I think. Um, although, getting a continent bonus as quickly as possible might not be that bad, but alien biotech first, it only takes two days, uh, three days. Uh-oh. Okay, so Kelly and Emily both gained promotions from that. That is great! They didn't die! And they got increased cohesion between themselves as well. And Emily got an extra dodge by 7 and 25 intel. And we did get Praetor Mox back as well. Our what? friends in the resistance have helped to pinpoint the location ah. of our missing soldier. Okay. So we have found where Praetor Mox is being held by Conray and Naylor. We should attempt a rescue as soon as possible to return this loyal soldier to the Avenger. And to prevent the assassin from extracting... Any more knowledge about XCOM activities? Okay. Commander, we've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the Chosen. We now have an opportunity to launch a rescue operation. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of Chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. Commander, if we're gonna win this war, we need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations which requires special planning and preparation. Okay, we'll need to review these sit reps carefully before selecting our squad. All soldiers on this mission will gain a single charge of the conceal ability. It's a shadow squad. Huh. Setting course for sector Let's go over there. Let's leave the rookies to be right now. It's weird that we can actually go there because it's an occupied... Commander. Territory. Looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Okay, so that means we can only get three soldiers in there, which is going to be really, really important. So, what we're going to do is do this next time, but we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we're going to try and rescue Praetal Mox from the Advent Compound, but only three soldiers apparently. So, uh... Wish me luck on that, and thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2 Valkyrie. Goodbye!